Make It Monday again for the Tremont District Library and still working with STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And we are going to definitely use our scientific method. So we're going to observe, we're going to question, how will magnets work? Um, research, so you can definitely look into the books that we're going to suggest at the end of the video uh, on more fun magnet um, things that you're going to do. Hypothesis, experiment, that's the experiment. Uh, test your hypothesis, draw a conclusion, and report. All right, so this month's um, experiment or topic is magnets. Magnets are very cool and very fun and very old. The first discovery of magnetic properties was roughly 4,000 years ago. And it was just a shepherd that had uh, nails in his shoe and a staff that had metal on the bottom as decorative and he stuck to a rock and he's like what the heck so magnets are very cool because they have an invisible force that's why magnets are used uh, for like magician kind of situation because it's almost like magic how they work so let's talk about what we're going to make so the, we're going to make some magnetic slime, which is super fun for you to play with and work with how magnets work. And we're also going to make um, a very rudimentary compass. And if you guys don't know what a compass is, a compass is something that helps you with your directions or finding your way. And one of the first people that um, made a compass was uh, Shen Ku. And he developed the Mariner's Compass, which is what um, we still kind of use today. But it's just basically a needle that uh, is magnetized and it'll show you the direction of due north. And if you guys know, we have our North Pole and our South Pole of the Earth. But actually, with magnetics, magnets, especially... Um, you got a bar in your kit. One end is called the South Pole and the other end is called the North Pole. And you would think that your North Pole actually points to the North, but it's not. As you can see on my diagram, actually the North Pole draws the South end of the magnet and the reverse. So with your magnets, the reverse, the South end and the North end I got the south and the south. Here we go. Oh, there. They are what comes together. But if you try to bring the opposite, they don't want to go together. You can try all you want. And when you guys get your magnets, you can play around with them to see which ones are connect together and which ones don't want to come together at all. They want to go away. A fun way to do it is like this. See, magic. Fun, right, with magnets? All right, so for your first part, you're making two things in your kit. So in your kit, you'll have a paper bag. In your kit, you're gonna have a plastic bowl and inside it, this is iron oxide. And then you've got your liquid starch. You have a magnetic bar. So these magnets are just not any ordinary magnets. They are neodymium magnets. That means they're a natural earth magnet, which means they are a very strong magnet. So you wanna be careful when you're getting them close to each other because they might pinch you because they're so strong. And then the other important thing is don't get them around electronics. So don't put these magnets around phones, around computers, because they can mess them up because they're so strong a magnet, it might throw off um, your electronics. So make sure there's no electronics around when we're playing with these magnets, okay? All right, so you have your 
Inoxide, your liquid starch, your two magnets, and then you have your baggie, and you have a spoon, and that's to stir when we do our slime. And the next things are what we're gonna do first. So, this is what you have for, um, this is your compass. Oh, and I forgot to get water. Do you mind giving me some water? Okay, so we're gonna make our magnet or our compass first. So you can use um, the glue bottle in your kit or you can get hot glue, uh, which I recommend because it will make it um, stand up better and longer. So I'm just gonna pour some little bit of glue in there. And then you want your magnet to, instead of laying flat, you want it to sit upright in your um, in your compass. And to help with that, I included a cotton ball. Let me get a little here. And you wanna split your cotton ball in half, kind of push them in there right around your magnet. So as you can see, my magnets in the middle there of my cap and I put my cotton ball in there and now the next step is to glue my two lids together okay with this step you might have to walk away especially if you're using liquid glue um, to make sure that dries good and tight. And then if it doesn't, if you see holes, you're gonna wanna um, glue it some more. Yeah. Just until it's nice and dry. And then when you're done and it's nice and dry, before you put the top on it, um, so what you wanna do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel this off so you can see. Okay, you're gonna set your compass in a bowl of water and it's gonna turn. Once it stops turning, that way should be north. And to check your, to make sure you are right, You guys see, I almost didn't intentionally do it, but I almost uh, made it, goodness, did you guys see that? I didn't notice that my magnet was by my bowl and look what the magnet's doing to my, my compass. It's making it turn. So we want to make sure your magnet, your other magnet is not anywhere close to your your compass when you're trying to figure it out. And then once it stops turning, that's when you'll want to mark with a marker which way north is. Okay, then you take it out and dry it, dry it off. Put your compass on. Then when it's done, when you set it back in, it should always point north should be north. And then you have a working compass. That's your first project, working with magnets. All right, next project is your magnetic slime. So your steps for your magnetic slime are, first you want to pour in your iron oxide, or actually, excuse me, your glue. Glue is first.
got most of my glue out, but I'm gonna close the lid and leave it upside down to see if I can get more of it out. The next step is to pour in your iron oxide, which is the black powdery stuff. Okay, and then if you wanted to add glitter, this would be the time to add glitter. Once you add your glitter, then start stirring your iron oxide, your glitter, and your glue all together. I am using a spoon for this one because the iron oxide, because um, you know how Miss Nicole likes to use her hands. Um, the iron oxide does, will turn your hands uh, black. So I'm trying to lessen that, this first step. Okay, I'm gonna turn it this way so you guys can see. You wanna make sure that you don't see any white anymore. No unmixed glue. All right, I think it looks pretty good now. All right, so then the next step is to add, uh, when you're working with slime, is to add your activator. The activator that we are using is uh, basically liquid starch. I have done my fair share of slime recipes, and I really do love the liquid starch the best. Um, I made this batch here uh, over a month ago, and have not played with it in a while. And you can see that it still has that really great um, slime consistency and comes off fairly easily, which with slime, if you guys don't know, um, can get kind of messy. So, so we're gonna go ahead and pour this one in here. Pour it in the activator. And then now just start stirring and it'll get stringy and kind of rubbery, but just stir it, keep stirring. And once you get to the point where um, it's not really wanting to mix up anymore with your spoon, that's when you gotta get your hands in there and start kneading it. So knead it kind of like you would if you were doing um, making your own dough or making your own um, your own bread. See how we didn't touch the iron oxide until after we put in the um, liquid starch? My hands are not black, but if you would touch the iron oxide after you did the glue, your hands would be black. All right, now the fun part. See what it does with magnets. If you get your magnet, oh, did you guys see? Look how it just like comes straight to my magnet. Ah, fun. What if I just, what happens if I lay my magnet down? <gasps> it swallowed it whole. All right, I hope you guys have fun with this month's Make It Monday with your magnetic slime and your compasses and try to find your magnet. <laughs> Bye, friends. Here are some books that I recommend that had to do with today's topic. Um, this book is Magnets by Meg uh, Gar Gardner, and it is a great uh, book for ages five to seven. There is just tells you basically what a magnet is, how it works, um, where uh, different types.
types of like the magnetic field and then the north and south poles about the magnets but then it also talks about like how magnets are used today so that's a great book um this is magnets in the real world so this is just taking magnets and how they apply them to everything that we have which is so much stuff it's kind of crazy how much magnets are in our world and we have no idea and this book is magnets in the real world um and this book is magnets push magnets pull by david a adler and i have to say i've been looking at his books and he does a great job and this one is um same thing he does a great job relating to all the information to kids but still packing in a lot of facts and a lot of info about how 